Hey guys, how's it going? So I'm really excited for this video and video series. I'm gonna be participating in the Gertie Sew Along, which is happening right now. If you're not a part of it, please check out the description below. There should be a link there for the Facebook group. Uh, so Gertie from Blog From Better Sewing is hosting a sew along for a pattern that she designed for Butterick. So this is the pattern, uh, Butterick 6453, which is brand new for spring. Uh, there's two versions. I'm actually gonna be doing both versions because Viva Las Vegas is coming up next month, April 2017. I cannot wait. So I can see myself wearing both of these while I'm there on vacation. So um, I bought fabric for one of them. I have the other one I'm gonna do after I've, done, I've fitted the bodice. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you the materials that I got so you guys can see what I'm working with. So I went ahead and bought this tulip flower uh, print from Joann's. I normally don't shop for fabric there. They don't, I, I said this on Instagram, if you follow me on Instagram stories, is that generally it's mostly quilting cottons and I, I like to shop at places that have more garment fabrics. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, I, I bought this one just because I know it's one of the ones that Gertie had a hand in designing and it just, it was exactly what I was feeling at the time. So it was kind of weird to me. I'm like, oh, am I really going to pick a Gertie fabric and a Gertie pattern? Yeah, if I get whatever, I'm just going to do it. So I like the fabric and I couldn't say no to the fabric. So I actually bought less than the recommended amount of fabric for this garment. Um, the pattern calls for four yards and a quarter for my size, uh, which is, for me, I'm short. I'm 5'2", and I always have way too much fabric left over, so I went ahead and just chopped off a half yard on that, and I bought three and three quarters of a yard of this fabric. Um, I'm also only going to be lining the bodice, which apparently it doesn't, the pattern doesn't call for lining. I haven't taken a look at the directions yet, but I'm only going to be uh, lining the top because I'll be wearing a petticoat on the bottom. So I had this in my stash. It's a, a polyester rayon, I think, um, and so it'll, it's just enough to, to line the top. I have this uh, Trico um, interfacing, which I love. I love this color of netting one. Um, I don't like most of the woven interfacing, so I'm just using this for my stash. Also from my stash, I have this uh, kind of yellowish bias binding, which I'm going to use for the hem. Normally I use rayon hem tape, but I just didn't want to deal with that. And then last but not least, I have my primrose colored zipper because it's going to be a lap zipper. And I'll go ahead and show you guys how to do that if you don't know how. Now, um, there's a Facebook group. As I said, if you're not in there already, go ahead and join. But for me, and I'm sure that, and I've already seen questions about this like a bunch of times there, is that there's gonna be a lot of concerns about full bust adjustments on, you know, on ample busted ladies. And um, my measurements should appear on the side here. Um, so this is my bust, waist, and hip. So if you are kind of in that general size range, this video, these like, number of videos might be useful for you. Um, so I will just be talking about fitting myself. Um, I have not done a small bust adjustment, so I cannot speak on that. But uh, if you're in this size range, uh, these videos might kind of help you out. Or at the very least, when I express my frustration at whatever fitting thing, you will understand how I feel. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you find this series of video helpful and I cannot wait to do the next video next week after Gertie releases her next set of like tips and tricks. I'm gonna be doing them in time with everyone else in the sew along, so I'm not gonna be sewing ahead. Um, actually, once I finish recording this video, I'll probably just be tracing off the pattern pieces, hand washing this fabric just because I'm not gonna throw it in the machine, and then prepping everything so that I can start working on the muslin next week. Um, anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff, all the places, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.